We've turned many things into houses in Boxburg on this channel. We've turned a car, a tent, a jumping castle, you name it. But today I'm going to be attempting to turn this tree into a house in Boxburg. And this idea was actually inspired by one of you guys. My car... <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to get pranked if I say that username. Say it. Out loud. This person said, can you turn a tree into a house? I know you've done this before, but this time actually do it good. P.S. I love your videos. <laughs> yeah, they really said, uh, your old tree house sucked, so can you do it again? But I also love your videos. I said what I said. You know, I'm kind of offended at this comment. I thought my old tree house is very cute. I mean, look at it. I think it's kind of cute, but apparently you guys hate it. So we're going to try again. What's like the most recent comment? Alaska, where am I going to take my poo? And then I have to shower it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. You He's got a point. The only bad thing with my old tree house is that I didn't have a shower or a toilet. So we're going to make sure to include one this time, ladies and gentlemen. So um, let's let's get into it. I'm just going to call this Mike's tree house. Please approve. This is for you, Mike. Okay, so I've got a little bit of inspiration for this tree house. One of you guys actually sent me this photo. I don't know who built this, but credits to them. Like this tree house looks amazing. So I want to do something similar to that, kind of. Uh, obviously with my own little twist. Boxburg has many trees, but for conventional stakes, we're going to be using this large organic tree because it's large and it's big and we're gonna make it even bigger like that she's big she's chunky and we need to make sure like the root of the tree is also pretty big well first we need to make this the same color as wood because this my darling is going to be the root of the tree and then to make it more realistic we can put some horizontal wedges all around the bottom of the tree every time i saw a tree when i was like a little kid i would always picture like what it would be like to live in that tree i was like to my mom can we live in a tree and she's like no and i'm like why not like who's gonna stop me if i just want to live in a tree huh no one come up here it's fun <laughs> this is looking crazy it's okay bear with me okay you know what i kind of want a big tree like a really big tree you know what i wish we could do in blocksburg resize walls like if we could resize a wall in blocksburg i would be the happiest person you've ever seen in your life like i would cry tears of joy i'm so happy because i'm a gummy bear gummy bear now let's actually place this tree on top here this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky i feel like the hardest things kind of like mapping out where we want the house and how big we want the house Obviously, it's not going to be huge because, duh, it's a tree house, not Buckingham Palace. Like, it's going to be much more spacious than my previous tree house. That was tiny. Also, Loki kind of want to make this two-story. Is that crazy of me? Yes. Am I going to do it? Yes, I am. Just story tree house. Ooh, stop. I'm excited. I just placed down walls. I'm like, oh my god, guys. Adam's biggest fan joke. What? Did you guys hear that? I feel like I just got hacked. <laughs> that was so creepy. Oh well. Hi hackers! Just building a tree house. Please don't kill me. Okay, I think that's like good for the tree. It looks a little bit weird, but bear with me, okay? And to really make this like a tree tree house, we're gonna be adding trees like all around it. Uh, we're gonna do that later because first we need to work on the actual house itself. For the design style of this house, I'm feeling a dark modern twist with mixed with like nature. Like this? Oh, I look at this and like my mouth on the floor. But anyway, that's that's kind of the aesthetic we're gonna go with. Like I could do a traditional tree house where we use lots of woods, but uh where's the fun in that? Oh my god, we can even have like a balcony up the top that's made out of grass like this. This is actually gonna be the most fancy tree house I think you've ever seen in Bloxburg before. The other question is I don't know how we're gonna fit a bathroom, a kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom in here. Second story I think is gonna be my bedroom. And then the first story we can have living room, kitchen. Well, well, well. Where are we gonna have the bathroom? You're joking. Well, well, well. Okay, fine. Little tiny extension here. There, see? You can't come for me now. And luckily for us, Bloxburg added the ability to add pools on the second story. So you best believe we are going to have a little infinity pool at the back of our treehouse. Like that? Oh, yes. Now for the tricky bit, which is trying to figure out how we're going to get up into the tree. So we might do a little footpath around the tree. And then using square beam. Square beam. We can create a tiny little stepping stone. Like that? That's kind of cute. We just need to make sure it wraps all around the tree. <gasps> that looks so cool! Oakley Doakley, we've got our footpath all done. You know what? I'm not going to lie to you. If this was my tree house, I personally would be in it all the time. Now, the next thing we can do, I'm going to go around the tree and add fairy lights to it. So it looks like lights are wrapping around it like it's Christmas. This would be kind of cool during Christmas though. This is your sign to live in a tree during Christmas this year. I'm expecting everyone to start living in trees now. Do it! Just... Do it! Don't let your trees 
See, there we go. You know what would make this tree look more realistic though? If we added little vines to it using some round rods. See that? I feel like that looks so cool. And now that the tree is finally done, we can start working on the house. I kind of want an open door moment. Like we don't really have a door, it's just open. But let's be honest, who has a door in a tree house? Like in a tree house, you can just like walk in. <laughs> I kind of want the kitchen right here. So instead of an entryway, we walk in straight to the kitchen. I mean, it's different, but I mean, so is this house. Let's be honest. This isn't a regular house. Oh, and we can't forget it's two stories. So we need stairs. We'll just pop a little spiraling staircase right there. I don't even think I added like a proper kitchen in my last tree house. <laughs> like, I don't even think we had room. I don't know why I made it so small, but I did. And cause this is a modern house, we're gonna spoil ourselves and use the most expensive modern counters. I hate Boxburg sinks. They should add more sinks. You know what's a crazy sink? Have you guys seen Kim Kardashian sink? So weird. Like, how does that thing even work? The thing with a treehouse is that it's very, very dark. So I want to add a window at the back here. So when we're cooking, we've got a nice little view. That is one requirement in my future house. You know how people have like bucket lists of what they want in their future house? Mine is that my house has to have big windows. That is my only requirement. And obviously that the house is, you know, working well. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but something about big windows is just like, yes, please. Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! My office, my bedroom, and my kitchen all have to have big, beautiful windows. Speaking of big beautiful windows, I think we're gonna place frame windows at the back of our treehouse. And the reason we're not adding one back here is because we are placing a hood light instead. Now to make this kitchen dark modern with the power of coloring. Voila, we've got ourselves a dark modern kitchen. And we can't forget our little LED strips at the back. That didn't place at all. Now I know how frustrating it is for you guys when I host build battles and you can't press undo. I feel like I would be making so many mistakes. I'd probably rage quit. Yes, I would rage quit in my own build battle. Oh damn, she looking nice. Can't forget the little microwave. I don't know why I always get the $800 microwave. Like, let's be honest, when am I gonna use this? I love decorating kitchens. I don't know what it is, I just love it. However, there's some days where I'm just like, I do not know what to add into a kitchen. If you type up kitchen, there's actually a few kitchen decorations. For example, some utensils, pestle and motor, chester. And like I said before, I wanna make this not only dark modern, but also a little mix of cottage call. So we're gonna add little touches of green in here. For example, some potted hanging vines up the top and instead of custom wallpaper we can use some more vines the thing is do we have room to add an island bench not a big island bench but maybe maybe a small island bench like literally a tiny one like this and i mean if we want to make this look realistic we can place another cube on top and copy the color of the benches and considering we don't have much room in here if we add two stools that way it can also act as our dining table smart yes yes i am you know what they call me alaska violet genius no one calls me that i like to think i'm sitting here reading my book in my little tree and i don't want like very very harsh lighting in here i want it to be as warm as possible i feel like that's a nice warm lighting i don't know if i should add a door though oh i was not gonna add a door but then i saw your creepy face so now i'm gonna add a door because i don't want to look at you and you're like alaska alaska where's the entryway we do not have an entryway yes we do look umbrella <coughs> boom entryway done okay so now that the kitchen's done i feel like the next thing we can do is the living room Ugh, these stairs they're so annoying i feel like they take up so much room you know what we're getting rid of them these stairs take up even more room oh my god all right this is the best we're gonna get you know what i just realized this is gonna be the floor for the second story how are we gonna fit a bed up here <gasps> Wait, I just thought of the stupidest thing. Oh my god, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. This is so awkward. I could have saved myself 10 minutes of torture and pain if I just added a ladder. <gasps> Why do I do this to myself? That is so awkward, guys. I promise I'm not a moron. <laughs> Okay, I might be a little bit of a moron, but aren't we all? <laughs> no, just me? Okay, great. Now, realistically, it's not safe to add a fireplace inside of a treehouse, but guess what? We're not realistic, so we're adding a fireplace. Why? Because I said so. With one of those fancy TVs that they added. I'm so glad they added these. The living room actually has such a cool view of the pool, and it's gonna look even cooler once I add, like, a view back here. I already know that I want green couches. However, we need something that doesn't take up too much room. You know what? Victorian armchairs. I love how we're literally doing a dark modern tree house and i'm like yes victorian furniture i'm like girl stick to a theme please okay green couches will this turn out good or will it not hey that looks kind of comfy i feel like a fancy professor lives here and he's like oh don't mind me i'm just writing my murder mystery novel in my little tree house because i live in a tree you know what if i was a billionaire i'd live in a tree you lie 
Yeah. I feel like if you live in a tree, it would just round you to your roots, you know? Please laugh at my joke. <laughs> okay, please. Can you imagine me doing stand-up comedy? It would just consist of people laughing at me for pity. It's not funny. It's not funny. And more candles on the table because we are just, we're just so safe in this house. Promise it's not a fire hazard. So the last thing we need in this living room is plants. And voila, we are done. This looks crazy, but I love it. When I tell you guys I want to add heaps of plants, I'm telling you I want to add heaps of plants. Okay, now it's time to look like a real tree house. I also figured out we've got an empty space here, but the door's over here. So like, why don't I add the door on this wall? So then we've got an entryway. Are you dumb? Sometimes I just, I don't think. Brain empty. And I mean, we can also fit some more windows here. Like that? Ooh. And ironically though, why is this tree house turning out better than like all my builds? I'm telling you, there's something about a small little house that I just love. Like a big mansion? Nah, forget about that. You know what I don't want though? To keep looking at you. Why are you staring at me? Get your face all over the face. Okay, on this angle, we can fit some hanging towels to create a custom-made coat rack. And for curtains, you know what? We're not going to add curtains. Who needs curtains? Not me. To make it more realistic out here, we're going to add a bunch of hanging vines. Like, they're super expensive, but it will look so cool. So now that this bit's done, we can work on the bathroom. I want to do something a little bit different for the bathroom. I kind of want to have an indoor-outdoor type of moment. So we're going to have a door here that goes out into the infinity pool. And because we don't have much room, we're not going to add a bath. However, we can fit the toilet here, the sink facing the window, and are you ready for this? The shower outside. <laughs> I know, weird, weird, but like, hear me out, okay? If we put a bunch of hanging vines up the top, I mean, hey, we kind of got a little bit of privacy going on. Where is it? 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 We we'll just need a footpath. <laughs> I think that is without a doubt the weirdest thing that I've done. But we can't forget a fence around the infinity pool because I'm not in the mood to fall off. And then continuing it with the bathroom, I think I might actually move this thing on this wall instead. And then this way we can have a mirror. And last but not least, plants, plants, and more plants. And then voila, we've got our bathroom. Now for the last thing in this treehouse, we need to do the bedroom, which I'm so excited about because not only does this bedroom have the best view in the house, but it also comes with its own balcony as well and slide. But it's also gonna come with its own water slide that's made out of like a rock like this. Oh, this is looking nice. I take back everything I said about my old treehouse. That one sucks. This one's 10 times better. And I don't think anyone's gonna break into the top story. So we're gonna have a door frame instead of a door. Sometimes I think that like my building skills have an improved but looking back like a year ago, I definitely would say I think they've improved. Stop. This was Coachella 2016. This, this was, was the vibe at the time, okay? We're only going to use a single bed because there's not much room up here. Oh, the window at the back here looks so cool. I think there's too many windows though, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And we can have our own little TV. You know what we can use for the bedside table? A stump chair. Because it's a treehouse, you know? <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. Don't get me wrong, like this treehouse would look really cool. You know what wouldn't be cool though? The spiders. You know how many spiders would be in this house? I'm getting creeped out just thinking about it. Okay, we can't forget our books because I'd love to read. I'm done. <laughs> No. And I'm gonna make sure to put gaps on the end of the bookshelf. So then we can decorate it with candles, some more hanging plants. These things are so expensive. This little hanging plant is $240. I've placed, I've placed over like 30 of them. This house is gonna be very expensive. Some posters. I'm surprised we have this much room in the treehouse. I'm pretty sure in my last treehouse, I made the bed and the living room like the same thing because I ran out of room, I think. And this treehouse would be absolutely freezing during winter. So we need to make sure to put a carpet for our clothes closet and clothes and all that snazzy jazz. I reckon we can put the clothing rack here. We can fit a bench on this wall and then we can fit our slippers underneath the bench. Okay, so then finally on this wall, I reckon we could fit a vanity table. We might have to make it out of a basic shape though. Because then this way we can determine how big we want it. I don't want it too big, but I do want it up against the wall. Oh, with some of these fancy books. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, the only problem is you can't color them. Boo. I hate when Bloxburg adds new items to the game, but you can't color them. Like, what's the point? Like, don't do this to me. Now, typically I wouldn't add curtains on the second story but i feel like some shutters on the outside look cute see i was proven correct they look cute last thing we need for the treehouse is the balcony you can see the bed that is so 
awkward. Actually, we can make this work in our favor. If we put simplicity stools on the end like this and then put a cube, we've got our own custom made bench. We've got a little DIY bench. And you know what? We might as well add a fireplace out here as well. See, look at that, cozy. And now that the tree house is all complete, I'll just add a few trees around the surrounding area. Okay guys, the tree house is finally complete. Comes to a total of $166,000. Mike, you better approve of this tree house. So here's how the outside turned out. It looks like something out of Bali. I feel like this is like a tropical resort. It doesn't even feel like a tree house. And that's just the outside. So to get up into the tree house, we've got to do a little parkour skillage. Clearly, I don't have any skills. Yes, you may fall and hit your head coming up, but it's okay because then once you're in, he's ready for this. Voila! Wow, I love when Bloxburg doesn't paint this wall. Thanks, guys. So this is the entryway. We take off our shoes, put our coats up on the coat rack, and then we have the gorgeous living room. I cannot go over how stunning this is. Like, I don't even care that it's small. I just want to sit here. I don't even want to watch TV. If you had this as your view, let's be honest, you would not want to watch TV. So over to the left here, we have the gorgeous dark modern kitchen with a few Bob Ross paintings. If you didn't know, I love this man. This man, I love him. Mwah. Like this man right here. Get a photo of me and him. I want to see this up on a decal. Wow! Beautiful! The tiny little kitchen. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny that <laughs> I can barely walk through. But besides that, the kitchen turned out nice. I like the little view we have back here. I mean, you can come in the kitchen. You can grab a espresso. And then once you drink your espresso. Oh, what's that? You have to go to the toilet? Well, luckily for you, this treehouse has a bathroom. So coming to the back here, this is the bathroom. There's not much privacy here. It's kind of creepy, but it's okay. I mean, I like to just sit on my toilet and enjoy the view, you know? As I always like to say, poo with a view and this is definitely living up to those expectations and then once you do your poo you can go wash your hands and um the only thing this bathroom doesn't have is a shower but guess what we don't need a shower because we have the shower outside again not much privacy but it's a tree house okay who's gonna be living out here no one except me how you doing you wanna go for a little dip in the pool? Voila! We have an infinity pool all at the back here. Oh my gosh, look at me go. Look at me go. Also, side note, why have I never saw myself swim in a block? This is the first time I'm seeing myself swim. Why do I look so weird? Now, coming up to the bedroom. So, once we up to the- Oh, okay. The only thing I forgot to add in my bedroom was rails, so you can easily just fall down. So don't do that. So, more Bob Ross painting. We've got our closet and then our console table here. The gorgeous sunset view. And then the bed in the corner. Like, don't even lie, you would take the fattest snack in this treehouse. This is actually making me tired just looking at it. See, this is what I'm saying when I want a bedroom with a view like this. Oh, yes, please. And I couldn't forget some posters of my cats. We got Salem, Samira, and the AV tour. And then finally, we have the balcony, which includes our own little chair, which I kind of messed up on. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. And then if we want to go for a nice little dip in the pool, we can just go down the slide. And then we, we are not in the pool. Well, that's awkward. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building this little treehouse in Bloxburg. This was super fun. It's nothing like the treehouse I'd done a couple months ago. I think I really want to start like rebuilding my old builds and see how I've improved. I don't know, comment and like let me know if I've improved at all for my last treehouse. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.